American consumers, oh, they could soon see higher prices on many of the things we buy, due in part to major shipping delays over at the Panama Canal. The shortage of rainfall due to global warming and droughts pose a threat to operations in the Panama Canal. A crucial hub for global trade is now facing an imminent crisis. Once a symbol of human innovation, this vital water passage is experiencing a severe water shortage. Imagine a world where ships had to undertake a dangerous voyage around the southernmost tip of South America to travel between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. The Panama Canal, an engineering marvel, transformed this scenario. So, why is the world's most crucial canal drying up? And what are the potential consequences for our planet? Prepare for a profound wake-up call. This is not just history, but a pressing issue. Unlocking History, the Panama Canal's epic journey. In the 16th century, a clever idea emerged. Let's link the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans through a shortcut. They chose the Isthmus of Panama, a narrow piece of land. But back then, they lacked the tools and tech to make it happen, so it remained a dream. Fast forward to the late 1800s. The French, inspired by the success of the Suez Canal, said, let's do the same with the Panama Canal. Led by Ferdinand de Lesseps, they started in 1881. However, they faced daunting challenges, dense jungles, swamps, mountains, and disease-carrying mosquitoes. After almost two decades and lots of money, the French project failed in 1899. Seeing an opportunity, the United States took over in 1904. With fresh ideas and a smart lock system, they completed the canal in 10 years. On August 15, 1914, the SS Uncon became the first ship to sail through turning a centuries-old dream into reality. The Panama Canal showcases human creativity and determination with a brilliant water elevator system that lets massive ships traverse Panama's rugged terrain. An engineering marvel. Navigating the Panama Canal, locks, lakes, and water challenges. The Panama Canal is not a flat path. It's more like a giant hill. To help ships cross, they use locks, which act like elevators for ships. These locks lift ships to Gatun Lake, a vast man-made lake, and lower them on the other side. Here's how it works. When a ship enters a lock, big gates close behind it, and water from Gatun Lake fills the safety, lifting the ship. Then, the gates at the other end open, and the ship sails into the lake. The process reverses at the other end of the lake, where ships are lowered back to sea level before they leave the canal. Each time a ship goes through, a whopping 52 million gallons of fresh water from Gotten Lake flows into the ocean. But how do ships navigate this tricky journey? Thanks to the canal's design and canal pilots, experts guide the vessel. Even the most skilled ship captains hand over control to a canal pilot during the journey. However, there's a big issue. The canal relies on much fresh water from Gotten Lake, and changing weather patterns complicate it. The Panama Canal, an incredible engineering marvel and a lifeline for global trade is now facing a significant water crisis. Freshwater is crucial for the canal's lock system, but it's vulnerable to environmental changes. Past problems have given us a warning about this challenge. Panama Canal's water crisis, challenges and solutions. The Panama Canal faces a severe water crisis. It relies on Gotten Lake and Alajuela Lake, filled by rainfall. However, shifting weather patterns and reduced rain have caused a significant drop in their water levels. This shortage is a big issue because the canal's lock system needs ample water to lift and lower ships. When a ship passes through, a substantial amount of water is released, straining resources. The consequences of this water scarcity are significant. Delays for ships, reduced cargo capacity, and even the risk of the canal becoming inoperable. The problem isn't new with past challenges during El Nino events when less rain occurs. Efforts to address the issue have included water-saving basins, but these are not complete solutions. The canal's water problem is further compounded by climate change, increasing ship traffic and outdated infrastructure. To secure its future, both short-term and long-term solutions are essential. Securing the future of the Panama Canal to save the Panama Canal, we need a multi-pronged approach. It's not just about fixing the canal, it's about preventing future problems. The Panama Canal is like a superhighway for global trade, 
making things cheaper and faster for us. If it dries up, it could lead to shipping delays, higher prices, and environmental problems. But there's hope we can modernize and improve the canal to keep it running smoothly. And if it ever becomes unusable, there are other routes, like the Nicaragua Canal and the Northwest Passage. So, while the Panama Canal's future is uncertain, we have the tools to ensure it remains a vital part of our world. We invite you to like, subscribe, comment, and share our content to support our mission and engage with our community. Thank you for being a part of our journey.